Oh, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Onlyways, and uh, I'm here by commentary with Mr. Pseudo Trainer. Hello, everyone. We're excited to show you Pokemon Yellow in a great sprite you might see on the top left already. <laughs> Today we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing any percent glitchless, except we're gonna be keeping Pikachu in our party for like 95% of the run. Yeah. Pikachu is going to be our pal in all this, so um, you'll notice something a little bit interesting that uh, right now we have a continue button. Uh, that's kind of for our marathon safety thing uh, and kind of required for the setup, but uh, we'll get started and we'll start explaining all this as we go. So, i um, going to start in uh, three, two, two, one, and one, go. go. <laughs> all right. Well, this is just the throw part. Wait, one second. Oops. I I didn't set up the options. Uh oh. Oh oh oh. We we got too ahead of ourselves, everyone. Hold, I, hold I, your horses. Because I have the save file, I have to actually open the options button. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Forgot to do that really quick. It's actually already set, but if it's really weird because if I start right now, it won't it won't start. It'll start with like slow text. But you open the options, it's already set. It now it now activates it. All right. So now yeah we're yeah now now it touch the flag. So you get three two right. one and go. go. Right, here we go. So this part is pretty standard. We're just gonna be uh, aiming ourselves uh, one character. It's the regular speed run. Um, throw for yes. it. Yes, so uh, as you would kind of guess, a game that has text a lot, we generally want to uh, have short names for a ton of stuff. Uh, we might be changing some things here and there. Uh, but um, for the most part, uh, we're, we're gonna see these characters a lot and their names have to be as short as possible, and it actually matters a little bit for some stuff. But, um, right off the bat here, Wanli is going to uh, try to start his Pokemon journey. So, we're playing Pokemon Yellow. If you haven't uh, played uh, Gen 1 before, there's kind of three versions, uh, depending on what region you are. But, um... There's going to be Red and Blue, which came out first, and Pokemon Yellow that came out later. Pokemon Yellow is going to be more tied to the anime that aired, that uh, grabbed an entire generation of people, kind of. Uh, and one of the Happy biggest changes is giving that Pikachu. So like Pseudo Turner said, the game pretty much follows um, the anime. And um, I guess this run, in a way, we're also gonna be staying true to that sense because we're gonna keep Pikachu with us for most of the run. Unlike the Ash percent run, we're not gonna be catching all the weird Pokemon that he gets all the along tourists. the way. Um, so, uh, another nice thing that's gonna change here is um, our rival's gonna get an Eevee, where normally, you know, it's the three starter Pokemon. Uh, and in this game, uh, the rival's uh, Pokemon that he ends up with, what version of Eevee, changes on how many times you beat him in the early game. Um, no matter how this fight goes, uh, we're going to know what it is because we're using a setup save. We're just playing through the early game to kind of get that complete uh, view of the run. But, uh, so this fight's not going to matter for us since Wanley has his setup save ready. But, um, if we win this fight uh basically the route is going to uh, give us a flareon for the final end and if we would lose it would be vaporeon and that kind of changes a few stuff here and there oh. nope <laughs> uh, uh, generally... tell him, tell him. Do, do it again do it again yeah all right come on, uh, come on. Okay. Uh -oh, it's not guaranteed well. nope nope it's all right and with that uh normally we'd wind up with vaporeon but only safety save uh the setup save uh, has uh, Flareon, where he won this fight. So we're still going to be on Flareon, Flareon strats, uh, which is different from this. Um, which is going to um, impact the route a little bit. Surprisingly, getting Vaporeon changes the route more than you would think. Uh, and we're going to go through Route 1 here. So, uh, Juanli, uh, to get all the setup for this run, to get a Pikachu with Surf, what do you have to do? Okay, so that's a very good question. You know, um, well, this process is a pretty complex process, and it pretty much begins with 
playing uh, Nintendo 64's Pokemon Stadium 1 game and unlocking the round 2 uh, Prime Cup version for it. And Which is hard your... in itself. <laughs> in itself, yes. It takes a lot of time. And you take your Pikachu only from the Pokemon Yellow Pikachu Special Edition game, which is the one I'm playing right now. We're gonna, you take that Pokemon, you take that Pikachu, and you bring him all the fights, the Prime Cap Master Ball um, version and cup or whatever. And you have to win that cup. And if you do so, it um, gives you the ability to teach Surf to Pikachu, which is what I did. And yeah. I uh, grabbed that level of six Pikachu and with Surf, I brought it back to the game, and then the regular speed running route. So I did the shopping and I uh, saved on the tile where um, we would manip Nito. And here's uh, here's the first cutscene quotation marks of the of the of the run. Yeah, it's gonna move by itself. Oh, he moved. It. Oh my god. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, unlike uh, the last route you saw, that had a lot of um, uh, cutscenes as well. We're actually gonna see more than you would normally see in the Pokemon Yellow speedrun, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, to just reiterate, reiterate more of what Honley did for Sep, uh, it's actually a lot. Uh, Honley, uh, what did you have to do to get a Pokemon that could beat that cup? Uh, because it's pretty hard. Um. Uh, I had to pretty much play the game and get a level 100 Mewtwo, and a level, another level 100 Pokemon, pretty much train them all the way up, uh, and save them on the the storage of the Nintendo 64, and then trade them in. So I'm doing the cup. It's, it's, it's a pretty complicated process, but yeah. once you're done with all of that, Pikachu should have Surf, which we will be using um, towards the end of the run to, um, to activate some really funny, um, awesome games and cutscenes. Yeah, and one of the things we're going to be doing, which I'll start kind of explaining... My Lord's uh, Encounters! Wow. <laughs> the, this Route 1 is terrible. Route 1 is where all runs go to die due to Route 1 encounter lock. Uh, but um, we're going to be uh, doing a manip here soon. So uh, to kind of give a bit of context for Gen 1 RNG manipulation, uh, basically, uh, as we save uh, on a spot and do certain button presses uh, in movement, we can get the same outcome every single time and we're going to be getting uh basically a perfect nidoran uh it's uh really good uh just by doing an rng manip here because i already did the save before the run started i was able to check file to see if it has an igt or not and it doesn't yeah. <laughs> but make also sure you don't save on that tile <laughs> Yeah, I gotta make sure I don't save right now. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna fake save. I'm, I'm not even gonna save or get even close to saving just in case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fake save and then we're, we're gonna be playing off the actual file that I have. And from there, from there on on, it'll be real saving and none of this. Yep. So the kind of fake up. start to kind of give you the full sense of the run is going to end, uh, basically the moment he kind of gets near this grass. And then we're gonna similar need... to the concept on uh, the Leaf Green races, where they have a backup squirt already. Uh, the minip. Okay, so we're gonna tend to save, and I'm gonna perform uh, the Nidoran minip here. So we have button presses that will get us through this frame perfectly. This intro. And I'll be quiet for a moment so Hanley can focus. It's fine. That felt good. All right. So uh, not only is the Manip to get the Nidoran to appear and to have certain stats, it's actually to get the Nidoran catch. But Hwanli did something that's actually pretty hard, uh, especially if you know anything about Pokemon Red. Uh, Pokemon Red, uh, it is a little bit well, a lot easier to do a YOLO ball uh, in order to make sure that you uh, can uh, catch the Pokemon 100% of the time, or well, roughly. <laughs> There's some variance in the nips, which is fun. Um, in order to do that, 
in red, it's just like holding a few presses. Juan Lee has to do like a text box clear, which is, I believe, four frames, and then uh, toss the ball, which is also four frames. So uh, it, this game runs at 60 frames per second, so it's pretty tight. So our starting uh, fights here, uh, yellow has changed a bit in the past like eight years or so. Um, the route used to skip these trainers uh, and fight some different uh, trainers, but now uh, the route has changed to be a little bit, a uh, little bit more streamlined. Uh, in order to get to the levels we need, we're gonna fight these trainers instead of one trainer who had a meta pot. Uh, and the benefit of that normally is we get to center before Brock uh, instead of before Mount Moon now, uh, which. <laughs> For this route, since we have Pikachu, it doesn't matter as much. <laughs> I've already uh, missed two tackles in yeah. Gen 1. <laughs> so in Gen 1, up till I think Gen 4, um, Tackle had a 95% accuracy. Yeah, okay, I gotta speed. heal. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. So, Wanli has a ton of potions here, so uh, we definitely can be pretty safe. Um, but in the early. Uh, parts of the run. Uh, our main goal right now is to get this uh, Nidoran male um, leveled up enough that in Pokemon Yellow, Nidoran learns double kip at a yeah. certain level. And Looking that's awesome. going to be vital since I don't think Pikachu or Nidoran without it is going to be able to take on Brock. That crit is so bad. Yeah. Um, so, uh, this is the first example of uh, where stats are weird in Gen 1. So I'm gonna ramble for a little bit while Juan Lee clears these fights. Um, so, Juan Lee got upset about a critical there, and you might have seen he did less damage. That's because Gen 1 calculates stats a little weird. So critical hits, um, they will ignore any stat changes from either Pokemon, okay? So, when you critical, um, Juanli had a lowered attack, uh, but sorry, lowered their defense for his, uh, with his leer, and because he criticaled, uh, it meant that <laughs> he did less damage, uh, because especially at low level, rounding stats down is really strong. Yeah, it's just part of the Gen, gen 1 shenanigans. There's a couple yeah. of them along the way that work like that. We're definitely going to probably see a ton of that stuff uh, throughout the entire run. We'll try to call them out uh, as they happen here. But uh, Nidoran got their first upgrade. Uh, Horn Attack is way better than Tackle. So No, no, no. This is bad. Okay, just don't uh -oh. do it again. Just, okay, yeah. good. Whew. All, All right. shot there is extremely slow because it makes us slower than the Metapods. Metapod. <laughs> and then this goes and from like a four-turn, three-turn fight to like a six-turn fight. Yeah, uh, being slower than any Metapod uh, means you're going to be in for a bad time. That's a good roll, too. From there, this might be a three shot. Okay, yeah, it's going to be a three shot. That's awesome. Okay, and then after this fight, we're going to be doing PG Minip. PG, PG, PG. So this run is going to have three RNG Minips, and this is the second one. So it's going to be follow the same process that um, we just talked about. So this one is completely um, not like prepared. This one is an important minute, but we don't have to care about PG stats at all or anything. So uh, there is a chance that this doesn't work, even if Juan Lee does everything perfectly. So Juan Lee is going to follow a specific path. Things that you're not seeing is Juan Lee's pressing A on certain tiles. And we're going to get basically to the end of this section right before the final force trainer. And we're going to encounter a Pidgey and we're going to be able to catch it. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Always a chance that these don't work. Mm, I don't know. That might, that might have been laid on the back. Uh, that's fair. Yeah, I was laid on the back. Okay. We have Fortunately. like three Pokeballs. Okay, well, let's miss Tackle again. Nice. <laughs> oh, no. We're, uh, tackle count is at three. That's oh, great. That's so uh, but luckily for us, uh, Pidgey, after doing one tackle, is very likely to get in this ball here. Mm -hmm. We got some backups in case. Okay. We got the red bar at least. That helps us yeah. out. Yeah. 
So, one thing that if you know anything about Gen 1 speedrunning, uh, red bar is this kind of famous thing, uh, but we're not going to be utilizing it as much in Pokemon Yellow because it doesn't work the exact same. So, uh, the entire like concept of uh, red bar still kind of applies. It can uh, skip some um, Pokemon cries and things like that, but it's not as good as red where it's not going to skip the intro cries. It's going to be like death cries, things like that. So, um, kind of the same crit thing. We'll care about it. Wow, getting crit already. He crit, crit before six, which is what exactly what I was at right before. I wow, what a good heal. Oh, but we had we had one of the biggest time loss of the game right here. I went from green bar to yellow bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we'll talk about that later, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, this game has color, uh, which is great. <laughs> it was the first Game Boy Color yeah. game in the Pokemon series, but. Uh, that also does kind of change some things here and there. One one of the reasons why Pokemon Yellow is so much slower uh, is they change the game and stuff a lot, but uh, the color uh, can kind of lag out certain areas. So sometimes like certain areas will just like be way slower just walking through it. Here's another um, showcase of why we really don't want to have Pikachu in our party too many times because like, we're going to heal. Pikachu is like, oh, I gotta get on this desk. Uh, in the actual glitchless run, we would be depositing Pikachu in this center before we healing, but because I'm taking Pikachu with me, um, he's gonna follow us all the way to before Mount Moon, where he will take his first break, and then we'll get him back afterwards. That way I can showcase the Manip, and we don't have to spend like two minutes getting encounters. This fight is one of the more annoying fights uh, in the run, I would say. Yeah, this is pretty much a YOLO fight. If you're doing uh, actual runs, you, you you will not heal. Oh my god, I double tail with Oops. At level leader. Well. Good thing we'll we have a ton of uh, safety potions and things yeah. like that. Um, the Diglett uh, can be annoying here uh, because in Gen 1, criticals are based off the Pokemon speed, or base speed, I I should say. Um, so certain Pokemon like Diglett, who are naturally fast, have a higher chance to crit. So one thing that Juan Lee's going to be doing here is uh, buffering down to the bag and using that potion. Um, and now that Sandshrew has cleared twice, we have a pretty safe fight, and we are going to finally finish it off here. And at level 12, oh, well, two horn attacks, sorry. At level 12 here, we're going to learn double kick. Nice. If I wasn't, if I didn't heal, you would sometimes finish this fight in a red bar. And red bar skips all the double kick jingles and level up jingles. Yeah. So it saves time, but for safety reasons, you don't want to, I don't want to risk that during a marathon run. No. <laughs> Though my potion count is already... Uh, pretty low. We, we just have to get through kind of a scary early game, and then at some point we're going to be able to get more safety items, yeah. and then from there the run is pretty safe. Oh, yeah. Really. Oh. Almost. I don't think it ever <laughs> kills. No. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure you need a one in one in th <laughs> one in five million or whatever. It needs yeah, there's one move. Oh, yeah. about, dude, please be long bide. Please. Okay. Please be long bide. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's okay. As long as we don't get uh, the the other B word move, we'll be fine. Okay, good. Oh, perf dude, that's an amazing. That, that's a great fight. This is an amazing Brock fight for a marathon run. So, uh, Onyx, uh, Bide is kind of the move we're looking for, and depending on how long it bides for, uh, we can uh, kind of play a little bit differently here. Uh, but the worst move we could get is Bind, which will wrap our Pokemon and prevent us from doing anything. So, uh, we're uh, at a pretty good time for Brock, honestly, with yeah, all things considered. It's one of my best Brock times I've got with the Pikachu. Um, uh, 
And one thing that instantly changes uh, in Gen 1 now that we got our first badge, uh, leading into this route, it's going to matter a decent amount. Uh, we get our first badge, and in Gen yes. 1, they wanted you to get stronger, basically, the further you got in the game. So there are things called badge boosts. So uh, certain badges will uh, increase one of your stats um, after you get the badge. Now, Brock's stat boost is attack. Now, that would be cool, but we, <laughs> but <laughs> we already can one. abuse a Gen 1 thing. So how stats are calculated in Gen 1, basically, if our stats ever change, uh, the badge boost is going to get reapplied again. So badge boosts are huge in the routing in this game. But it cannot change our attack. If anything changes our attack, we're actually going to lose badge boost. So string shot here, if that would have hit us, would have yeah. given us a badge boost. But there's ways of losing badge boosts as well. One of them is leveling up here. So even though Juan Lee could have gotten string shot there, it wouldn't have mattered. But in this entire route, there's going to be times where Depending on what happens, one they can do something different. Yeah, like I could have maybe risked tackle there if I would have gotten two string shots on me. Mm. Something like that. This ult is really good for this fight. I'm really happy I didn't take any damage there. In short sky, uh, kind of famous. Uh, short sky. In, in short sky, we trust. This is the the most popular place to get red bar um, if you're going for like a good run. You, you hope this rat attack quick attacks you and puts you in red bar. You take no damage here from now on, and you can fly through some of these fights. And we're just gonna hope for one move, the W move, do not use it. Yeah, so... Uh, oh, it used it. Uh, yep, Ep Ekans is the rap god. All right. The rap god. So, there's going to be a ton of these uh, like holding moves uh, in Gen 1, uh, oh. and this is how it works in Gen 1. Oh, missing the range is bad. Oh. Okay, poison, poison sting crit is so annoying though. Hey, uh, one I'll thing that's it. also going to happen here is you'll see Juan Lee switch to a different move sometimes. So uh, Juan Lee turned off animations, but sometimes, uh, oh, I did? depending on the move, <laughs> sometimes. Oh, no. Depending on the move, uh, it's going to have a different uh, animation. There's two types. Flash animations, which will only happen on moves that just deal damage. And then there's shake animations, which will happen for any move that can have a secondary effect. Double kick can hit twice, so it does a shake animation instead. And that's actually faster. So that's going to be ha happening a ton throughout the run, where Juan Lee is going to notice that, oh, double kick kills here, we're going to double. I'm going to try to tackle this. Oh, yeah, I think you got it. Let's see it. Nice. All right. So, one thing that's nice about yellow is having to level up earlier uh, is obviously slower. In, like, Gen Gen 1 Red, uh, you beat Brock way faster. But we're going to hit to level 16 here in just a moment, and that's yep. going to make uh, everything faster because we're going to evolve for the first time. Let's see. Hey. I'm pretty sure that a Metapod is a range. Nah. Uh, so, nah, that one's not a range because we're level 16. Nah. That makes sense. Press B, Juanli, press B. So, enjoy this little bit where we're going to have Nitter Nitterino. Uh, yes. It's not going to last that long. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I can just skip Moonmanip, and then we'll have Nidorino all the way! Oh, I do it, Juan Lee. Do it for no, the fans. No. <laughs> do it for the fans. So, uh, one thing you'll see in, like, uh, red... Uh, I keep bringing that up just because these uh, runs are compared so much, but yes. uh, in red, uh, you'll uh, need to catch uh, Pidgey. Uh, we've already nipped it uh, sooner, or a spare or anything like that. Uh, so oh. you'll see. Ooh, nice. That's amazing. That's, that that's saves amazing. Me another horn attack. I have eight. I only have to save one in Moon. That's really oh, good. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, another Bro, thing you'll see. Time. Yeah. <laughs> no manky. Let, let's mind. see that manky. Oh, now I wanted it. Um, another back, thing you'll see back. is Keep Pokemon searching. Red will start. Our next and final Manip is coming up. 
uh, they'll start them a nip outside. And Juanli here is probably going to uh, deafen uh, while we uh, do this minute. But first, yeah. uh, we're going to deposit Pikachu. And let's yeah. just hear what happens. Pika. Pour one out for our, for our Pika. One out for Pika. All right. So Juanli here is going to deafen in a moment as they save. And I'm going to walk you through this minute. So good luck, Juanli. Thank you. All right, so we're going to buffer the intro just like before, where we're clearing this all frame perfectly. This is what makes uh, RNG Minips possible in Gen 1. And Juanli is going to start walking in a very particular pattern. We're going to flash the menu there. This is part of the Minip. Uh, that's called um, a menu buffer. And Juanli is going to walk in this particular path and press A on very particular tiles. We're going to pick up a few items. This is our first rare candy. We're going to then go up and get this. It's an escape rope. Here soon? Oh, I, I don't remember where the escape rope is. It's been a while. But anyways, um, oh, never mind. I'm stupid. So, uh, red mind in my head. Uh, anyways, Pokemon Yellow, we're gonna go over here and we're pressing A all on these perfect tiles and we're gonna grab this Moonstone. We're gonna use this Moonstone very soon here. And this Minip, as you can see, is several minutes long and it can be very stressful. The nice thing about this Minip is it's uh, really consistent when you get it down. You can still get unlucky and run into encounters with how manips are kind of designed they can fail that we we're talking about before which can be a little annoying but as you practice this manip and get good at it uh it's such a fun experience getting good at this so Juanli now is going to woo, get through moon manip easily fine and start evolving into nitto king yeah good the job the reason Juanli. why this manip is i like I'll do the new one because I've done this one for so long. Yeah, been doing this minip since uh, 2019. <laughs> it, it, it's a good one though. Uh, so uh, the new one doesn't have the menu buffers, if I'm correct, right? It only has a uh, press. Saves like it saves the two seconds. I think. Okay, fair. Uh, I I actually brain farted and was concerned that you forgot the escape rope, and then I remembered that oh, that's the in red. escape rope. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yellow gets to kind of skip uh, picking up some items and things like that. But now we have Nitto King. So yes. Nitto King here makes this fight absolutely free. So Sorry. why do we use Nidoran as our Pokemon in Gen One? Well, if we're looking at it's like, purple, <laughs> purple, purple's the best. I like purple. Um, but if we're looking at like red, where you have more options with Squirtle, they also still use Nitto King. Nitto King makes a lot of sense in yellow because you can That's get through all. That's a great roll. Wow. Uh, uh, nice. Okay, sorry. No, you're good. Wow. That's a really good fight. Um, so Nitto King, uh, even in red and blue is used. And in yellow, it's just as good. Yep. And the reason why we use it is for a lot of things. We'll kind of bring them up as we go. But you can see here that we're under 30 minutes on the run, and we already have a fully evolved Pokemon. So that's kind of the main reason right now of using Nitto King. We're going to be able to get through these fights very quickly using a fully evolved Pokemon. Alright, we're going to be fighting Team Rocket. They want to steal our Pikachu. Oh, too bad they don't realize that we don't have Pikachu anymore. We pretty, will uh, standard here. Yeah, we will be getting Pikachu back uh, right after this. The reason why we did deposit Pikachu once again is uh, this Manip. Normally, you were not going to have Pikachu. You deposit him. So in order to get that Manip, we just had to put him away for a bit. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to uh, watch me go through the moon with 20 plus encounters. <laughs> Someone out there. It's you that's their there. favorite Pokemon. And they would have okay. loved it. That was a good roll as well. Can we get another one? All right, one let's see 39? it. Oh. oh, 
you have to get two high rolls to, to yeah. shot the coughing without creating it. So to explain Those exactly really kind of what fight. high rolls are, uh, there's a number rolled every single time you attack, uh, a number between 1 and 39. It's way larger than uh, later games where it's like 1 in 16 is the damage ranges most people think of. But there's a number that's between 1 and 39 as you attack, and it will scale your attack. Now the nice thing about it is a 39 will always add 1. It's going to be 1 higher. Uh, mm -hmm. than uh, the one below it uh, because how rounding works. So, uh, a lot of times if something is in a range to kill, you can have a very rare range like that one where you need to get two back-to-back -back, one in Wait, 39 you hear without that? crits. Wait, hmm? do you hear that? No. Do you hear the crowd? No. What, what is it, want? Honey? What do we want? Pika. Pikachu, when do we Pika. want it now? What do we want? Pikachu, when do we want it now? We're what going we crazy want? for Pikachu. Pikachu. We have to get it. We have to get Pikachu out of the box. In the happy and sound. Pika! Uh, <laughs> okay, now we're good. Now, now that we have complete. Pikachu back, uh, we're yep. doing the run proper. Yeah, now we're going back to the regular glitches, right? Yeah, anyone who... Uh, doesn't have Pikachu in your party, I'm sorry. Your world record is invalid, and you have to rerun. We should make a petition Pikachu. to make this category the legit category, where you have I would to love it. Pikachu with you. I, yep. I, I would also hate it, though, because you need so much hardware to make this work. <laughs> no, no, just Pikachu, no surfing. Just the Pikachu. Oh, just Pikachu. Okay, okay, <laughs> Pikachu, okay. Yeah. That's fair. Time to so make a entering... movement with Pikachu, yep. Yeah, we're entering a really bad fight, though. Oh, okay. Why is this fight so bad? This fight is bad because it's an attack. Yeah. And look, and look what our rival's name is. It's called PSR. PSR, the always the, the enemy. The best. <laughs> always our enemy. Uh, so, sand attack is especially okay, bad. Okay, good. Leer is the first one. Now, Spiro obviously is, is annoying because sand attack, but guess what? Hey, guess what Pokemon comes out next? Oh, a sand shrew. Sand guess what it has? <laughs> Not sand attack. It has scratch and it spams it and we win. Mm -hmm. and we celebrate. Yeah, of course. There's no oh. sand oh. attack in our game. Okay, perfect. Woo! Okay, good. So now double kick to finish off for the shake animation. Criticals are so annoying. They actually take more time a lot of times. Critical We're gonna hit double would kick be better. Or, oh, yeah. okay. Wow. Wait, we got the natural wow. in the natural range. Insane. That's great. That's I haven't seen that in so long. Okay, we didn't get this range on the Eevee, though. So it's gonna survive with... It still has Sand Attack? No Sand Attack, okay. Yeah, wow. so there are three Pokemon with Sand Attack. In wow, this that fight was magnificent. That was a great fight. Wanli getting that Marathon Luck. Maybe PSR is nicer than I gave it credit for. Look how I, nice I think, the word I think naming the rival PSR really helped out. So, world record strats. You just gotta name your rival this. Hey, if everything goes well... Uh, you never know. <laughs> so, uh, this is Nugget Bridge. We're going to have to fight five Pokemon here. Um, it's especially easy for uh, us since we have a Nidoking. This is the and... easiest. This is, these are the one of the easiest fights of the entire game right here. Yeah. So, we're going to level up quite fast, actually. Um, the yeah. We're kind of every single time you get to a new section, the Pokemon and trainers all that kind of rise in level, expecting you to kind of uh, you know, have to train up a whole party. One of the best things about Pokemon speedrunning is you get to focus on one Pokemon. And yeah. because of that, we're going to level up very fast. And our goal right now is to actually get to level yeah. 21. 21. Yeah. 21, we're going to be learning the move called Thrash. <laughs> which, not only it's a really powerful move, it also really speedrunning friendly because once we use it once, we don't have to... Uh, we don't have to choose the moves over and over again. So it makes most of the fights go by really fast. However, exactly. it does have its... It has its negative effects. It's, it's negative... Uh, what would I say? Uh, yeah, th there's definitely a drawback to it. Uh, luckily, drawback, with yes. our routing, we can get around it for the most part. But there's one fight that uh, it will definitely matter. Okay, that's amazing. What's going wow. on? Wow! We're getting critical. the best crits ever. That's so good. 
That Nidoran has double kick, and double kick is so slow in this game to get hit by. Uh, oh lord. Because it hits twice, and there's a not very extra effective text. 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 Yeah, cool, extra text off. It, it's it's very annoying. Yeah. yeah. So after this fight here, we will be level 21. And uh, to all the Gen 1 experts out there, yeah, N Nino King doesn't of all uh, learn Thrash at 21. It learns it at 23. But uh, luckily for us, uh, there is a rare candy in this town in One and Moon. So uh, this is going to be where we actually use our first batch of rare candies. We're going to be getting a, quite a few during the run, but this is our first stint of using them. Yeah, I cannot forget to use them here, otherwise it's a little... Otherwise <laughs> it gets so slow. <laughs> We're going to have to use Pikachu instead. Yeah, so uh, one thing... Uh, we're going to teach Thrash here, and then as Juan Lee was playing, saying it's going to basically trivialize uh, the rest of this entire route. We're going to fight a ton of trainers, but uh, to show you kind of what we're talking about here, Juan Lee, show the people Thrash. I will. We're going to put it in slot one, because it's the move we're going to use the most, and then we're going to Thrash. Thrash, and I'm going to sit back and grab my margarita and start sipping on it. <laughs> Everyone Holy grab crap. your beverage of choice. Any critical you see is bad now, because Thrash is strong. It's, uh, uh, what, 100 uh, base power or 120? I don't remember. It's 100. I'm, I'm not too 100 sure. 100 sounds correct. Um, but uh, it's going to last for three or four turns before the Pokemon gets confused. And you'll notice there's not a lot of trainers that have more than three Pokemon. Oh so... my god, it's Mankey! <laughs> All right, I... I... Supposed to have this emote up. I'm so sorry, Juan Lee. I'm getting to it. Juan Lee Pog in the chat. Yeah, baby. Oh, Juan Lee Keck is better. You're right. I'm so sorry. Okay. Wait, Juan Lee Keck. There Real we go. Juan Lee fans use Juan Lee Pog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, we're going to say no to organized crime today. Uh, that, that'll be no. your takeaway. Oh, that's, that was my wish as a kid, and I think everyone's wish here in chat. You could say I yes know. and just join no, just join Team Rocket and become part of their organization. Absolutely, I'm in. <laughs> uh, so, after this, though, uh, we're going to be getting a different Pokemon. Uh, this is one of the kind of uh, interesting parts, uh, where you're going to... Uh, get a Pokemon that I feel like most people wouldn't think you'd pick up in a speedrun. Yeah, I know, but like you said before, because this game is based on the anime, they actually want you to have this kind of Pokemon. And this is probably a lot of people's favorite Pokemon when they played Pokemon Red. It's <coughs> I, I don't know who you're talking about here. Uh, Charmander is my favorite Pokemon. Oh, yeah, you're and this, right. <laughs> this is the game that uh, began the Charmander favoritism, I feel. Uh, we're actually gonna uh, do more with Charmander than the normal run does, but we'll yeah. get to that later. Yeah. Yeah, Charmander will be coming just. He'll be one of our friends. Our yep. HM friends. So, so along with PG and uh, Pikachu. And we we don't name the HM friends because while we're going to use them a bit for the HM moves in the overworld, uh, it's just gonna take too long to name them, and we don't use Charmander that much. That naming him is gonna make that much of a difference. Bind. Perfect. Hey, you got wrapped once, but I don't think you've been binded yet. That's pretty good. Nope, and that's it. I don't think we can get binded ever again. Ever again. <laughs> just stop speedrunning now and end yep. your career bindless. That's great. Yep, just start playing Colo. They don't have bind in Colo. <laughs> and uh, everyone remember that this girl's bro boyfriend is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> our. our Okay. Our Nitto King versus a Nidoran. Let's see the difference. I wonder who's gonna win. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're a little bit overpowered here, thrashing about with our 24 level 24 stage three Nitto King, just rolling on the competition, taking everyone's money. It's okay because then Misty comes up to us and then she goes, "What have yeah. you done?" We're going to be there very quickly. Uh, how yeah. bad is Misty in this round? M Misty is so bad that we save. That's all I have to say. We save. 
but we have a Nitto King that's like so high level. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. So uh, as as you might be aware, uh, Nitto King is a ground type. <laughs> aware. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure most people are. Um, and obviously that's gonna make Misty harder. But Misty, yeah. the reason why it's actually a really annoying fight is uh, Starmie. To go back to that speed to crit ratio thing, Starmie is a very fast Pokemon. Yes. So that means critting is uh, way more likely than you would think in like a later gen. So it's very annoying for this fight. Exactly. And then also, Misty has the ability to use X Defense, which would also make the fight uh, risky as well, because it takes your thrash turns to four turns, and so that you, you have that. 50 chance to get confused. Yeah, normally, uh, you know, in Pokemon speedruns, they might get excited when they see, um, you know, a stat move, a uh, stat wait, buffing. Wait. I'm I sorry to interrupt you. You're good. Is the first cutscene? Who the hell is that? Let's go <laughs> talk to it, Pika. What is this? Oh, it's a Pokemon trainer. His name is Bill. And he's stuck. Let's help him out. Pika? So There's this no is why you on? deposit Pikachu, and that's yeah. why all the speedrunners are cruel. Look, look how cute Pikachu is. Yeah, imagine doing this in your middle of your run, trying to get a world record. Oh. <laughs> 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 There are so many uh, emojis of Pikachu in this game, and I love it. Yeah, right, they're, they're so good. So we're gonna... Uh, the route we're going, we're getting all the kind of mandatory right, items. Bye, Pikachu. See you later. We'll leave him. Leave him behind. He's oh, not. Yeah. Never mind. He's back. Wow. So close. So we're gonna be getting all the kind of mandatory items, uh, but... The route is pretty tight. We're not really going to go out of the way uh, for too many like random things. If we do, we'll kind of call them out. But really, up till this point, it was straight through doing everything we need to. We need the SSN ticket. And the next thing we're going to be doing is doing something else um, that uh, we are definitely going to save for. And that's uh, fighting Misty. Yeah. First, we have to fight one of her uh, her homies. Which, uh, this trainer only has one Pokemon, and normally you wouldn't, wouldn't worry too much about it, but what move is absolutely terrible and for some reason always hits? Super, Let's see if we super see Super poopy. We'll be fine. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Okay, we created. <laughs> doesn't matter. Move doesn't exist. Patched yep. out. Ranges don't exist when you crit everything. All right, so I'm going to be healing here to full, almost. And I'm going to be saving. So, despite using a bit of potions in the early game, um, Wanley's potion count is kind of fixed. He, he had a good uh, bridge into the route, so... Yeah, I have... Technically, I can only use two potions out of the three, because that potion... I cannot get rid of that potion for the slot, because our bag inventory in Gen 1 is very limited. So every item counts, and potion is an item that we want to keep in our inventory for the entire run. It ends up becoming just a, a, a place item. Yeah, All right. and, and no let's see here. Turn one. Crit, right. that's amazing. No bubble beam? Okay, bubble beam. No speed fall, please. No speed fall? Uh, okay, good. Whew. Wonderful. Wonderful. Alright, and we're through kind of one of the worst fights. Um, yeah, uh, to kind of go back to the inventory thing, uh, it'll matter more when we get to it uh, after a big shopping spree, but uh, for now, we can hold all of our items we uh, could ever want, uh, but we're definitely going to be holding on to some, uh, like uh, the wonderful potion, uh, but we got a TM here. So the first TM we got, uh, we'll see in a little bit, actually, but uh, it won't stick around. Uh, the gym leaders will also give us uh, TMs, uh, this one is actually going to be very helpful for us. Because uh, for some reason, Nidoking can learn Bubble Beam in this game. 
and Thunderbolt. Yeah. <laughs> Nidoking can learn anything except cut. <laughs> yeah, which is, or uh, Nidoking can't also learn dig, which is annoying. <laughs> oh, wait, you're right. That's mm -hmm. so annoying. But mm -hmm. into the Machop here. So, um, this fight uh, isn't really that bad. No, you're good. Uh, we're now level 26 here, so uh, Drowsy's probably not going to cause us any troubles. Yeah, I think only in uh, the classic rate, the classic runs. Yeah, this have to worry about it. Yeah, these fights matter, and then if you're playing like <laughs> Fire and Leaf Green, you have hey, to. Hey, like, uh, you just got the TM dig, I think, oh, yeah. if I recall. Why aren't you teaching that to Nido King though? <laughs> Earth, ground type can't learn it. it doesn't Why? work, dude. But Charmander can learn it. Gen one logic. Yeah. Uh, we're actually gonna be uh getting an item here really quick. Yeah, gotta get the full restore. Can't forget. Very important. That's so be normally. Your, uh... When you pick up an item like that, uh, any hidden item, it has this actually really long jingle. I think it's like, uh, what, oh, two yeah. seconds or something? But as uh, the game's kind of loading all these things, if you buffer the pickup like Quan Lee did there, uh, you're going to skip the jingle because you're picking up the item before the like jingle has time to like load and play. So you just skip right over it. There's a ton of like small things that we might even glance over. That make this game just fast and really interesting. All right, now we're gonna be doing the PG Gauntlet. <laughs> I'm so tired so, of these freaking birds. It's like PG, PG, <laughs> PG. So many PGs. Uh, normally, yeah, just don't quick attack, don't crit. Yeah, normally, normally we'd worry about would. things like sand attack, but what we're actually worried about because we're gonna be faster and kill all these. Our quick attacks are just a waste of time. Any extra, any crits, any quick attacks are just in our in the speed running mind brain. That's a time loss. It's not anything but just a time loss. Fortunately, this sparrow doesn't have it. Spiro. And the Radicate could. It's not going to. No way. Yeah. See. Magic. Eradicate being good. Wow. Only one quick attack. Hey. That's not bad. Uh, nah, yeah, no. That's pretty good. So, a uh, quick thing to kind of call out. Most uh, trainers in this game, uh, they have just completely random um, uh, art, uh, what's it called? AI, uh, their their logic. Uh, it's just completely random. So, if they have three moves, it's like 33%. Uh, but, uh, some... Some of them are going to be different, but uh, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to buy some repels. We buy exactly three repels, and we're going to save them for a little bit. Yep. And we also sold the nugget and the uh, uh, buy TM from uh, Brock um, for money and then for inventory space. And then here I will be teaching Bubble Beam and Dig for the rival fight. We need Bubble Beam for the Sanctuary. And then also Bubble Beam's uh, shake animation. Yeah, so we, we always want a move, uh, ideally, that has a shake animation. Yeah, and we so should always have one. So it's better to use than Horn Attack. So, Juanli, quick quiz for you. Why did you teach the, the moves there versus when you got them, since uh, you didn't really do anything else? Uh, like, you had those TMs a while ago. Why did you do it on this boat? Because the notes told me to. Because, because because world record does it that way. Because you you just sold your items, uh, which removes oh, yeah, the items from the bag, so, uh -huh, so they're closer yeah, right. up. <laughs> so this is another rival fight. Um, by this point, uh, our rival is kind of uh, already locked in to the type of Eevee they have, and which is going to be uh, Flareon. So whether you would win or lose this fight, or even the last, it wouldn't have mattered. Um, for like the EV evolution you wind up with. But uh, we are gonna get through this uh, pretty fine. Uh, this <laughs> quick attack is always annoying. It's so weird. I, I, oh, it always, it, always, it, always, it always throws me off. 
So having Bubble Beam is very solid here. I'll be swapping it to uh, slot four because we're going to be teaching Thunderbolt over Double Kick at some point. Yeah, once they, we, uh, once we fight Search. There's a lot of cool like menuing optimizations. Like you saw Juan Lee, uh went down to Bubble Beam because he wanted it. But then the next time you need a double kick, that's the most optimal time to swap it. Um, so you can just do a lot of cool things like that. I'm actually surprised there isn't a Pikachu cuts in here after talking to this guy. Yeah, uh, I feel like <laughs> this is like one of the key points you would have on. Yeah. Should have like walked up to him and then like... Looked at the bucket and then done like a like a nat like a throw up face or whatever like a ew face. Yeah. And like so, Pika ew or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so funnily enough, we had another Pika. jingle skip there. Pika. Uh, we did have another jingle skip there. Um, and this one is actually dependent on your uh, character's name. Uh, as long as it's short enough, it won't play the jingle for getting uh the cut HM. And now oh, only okay. favorite I didn't know cutscene. That. Yeah. Yes. I think the characters need to be less than four, so one through three, you'll skip that. Ma, ma. I'm doing the sound effects for you. Oh, I really appreciate that. Uh, can you do all the including the music? I, I I can't hear it, so I'm gonna need you to do the uh, the <laughs> You know what? Dun, 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 Can we just dun, give dun, up Juan Lee? <laughs> not only doing a great run, making really good time playing well, dun, dun, but being interesting is all hack. All right, so we are going to be doing a couple things here in this. Uh, Healing um, like a chicken. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> no, uh, we're going to be uh, teaching cut here uh, to Charmander, but Slot unfortunately, two. yeah, Charmander is. Uh, starts with three moves so normally you have to teach that no matter what but uh we are also not doing a minute um so if you've seen a red speed run this is where the final manip happens in the run uh in yellow though uh it's actually would be slower if we had a minute unless hey good so thank you ti kevin ti kevin cans uh, kevin out. cans thank you <laughs> So, uh, the cans are a little bit, uh, borked in the code in, uh, yellow. If you've ever played it and were confused, um, it's because it doesn't work how it should. So, a lot of the times, depending on where the first can is, the second can will always be top left. So, because of that kind of coding error, it's not worth trying to manip it. Nope. Okay, Mega Punch. It's okay, I guess. This fight is actually scary. Yeah, but we didn't get Growl turn one, so that's good. Uh-oh. Good. So, this is kind of scary for the same reason we... Were... Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that crit. All right. What's it do? That was scary. scary. All right. This is the part where if we were doing a regular any percent run, we would be extremely happy. We would be celebrating. We would be like, yes, we have red bar. Yes, we can go fast. But because this is a marathon and uh, dying in anywhere in Rock Tunnel and ahead of it, it's really, really bad because it takes you all the way back. Yeah, one was you uh... use up all your repels and stuff. So what I'm gonna be doing is centering. But here's another cutscene. Pikachu oh. falling in love with Clefable. It's so cute. Pika, Pika. I'm gonna go talk to it again so you can hear it. That's amazing. You get the bike fast. Sure, which gets it's a bike as well. So yeah, to reiterate one small thing, uh, in a normal run, the last save you would have done uh, without like safety saving would be in Mount Moon. So uh, dying in Surge is just a run reset. Oh, yeah, I want to do that one again. <laughs> that it's so it's so good. And now we have Pikachu. Um, so if you're confused why we're walking over here, it's because uh, even though it doesn't seem like they fixed anything, uh, the bugs from red to yellow, <laughs> they, they fixed fix one. Uh, 
Uh, you can't one. you can't dig out on certain tiles you normally could. Like you can't dig out in front of the bike voucher guy. So we have to walk over to the cave, which is always a funny thing. And we're gonna hand our Pikachu over. There you go. Please heal us. Yeah, I have no way to heal myself up without unless I use my full restore here. So Tentarine is definitely the way. And uh, in yellow. A particular full restores are a little bit more valuable in red you really want like red bar and a ton of the end game but full restores are kind of invaluable in yellow because we're not going to be nearly as safe in like the e4 as you would in red and this is the point where i teach thunderbolt okay make sure i teach it yeah. over the right move the, the, uh, when you're nervous and uh, going, uh, I think almost every single runner has uh, accidentally taught uh, yeah. this move or Ice Beam or Blizzard if you did that route over the wrong move, and it's uh, it's not fun. Um, but we're uh, entering uh, one of the most annoying fights. It's fine because Swanley's full health, but this is called Four Turn Thrash Fight. Uh, and uh, we notably do not have Mega Punch in uh, on our Nino King in Pokemon Yellow, which means that basically this is um, a 75% uh, chance uh, like to win fight because Thrash can last uh, three or four turns. That's a 50-50. But then it's basically, uh, do we get paralyzed uh, with a Stun Spore? And that's the 25% chance at the end here versus Absorb. So these first three, we're thrashing through. This is where our first 50-50 comes in, and then we have oh. another. Nice. Sick. Four so. That's awesome. All right. All right. All right, all right. We're doing great. All right, all right. Vonley's killing it. Right, this is another fight where we technically use Thrash turn one here, but we're just opting with Bubble Beam. So we don't, in case we don't um, one shot the Bananet. Yeah, this we don't is risk a the chance to go to a four turn. So yeah, this is a three Pokemon fight, but the final one is a good range. You're really likely to kill it, but in a marathon, uh, just using Bubble Beam, which I always kill, is a little bit safer. Uh, I kind of wanted it to live so you could be validated for playing it safe. <laughs> it's okay. It has disable, and that could be really bad on on Thrash. Yeah. Uh, because in, in this move, uh, if you're locked into a move and it gets disabled, uh, the game just decides you don't get a turn anymore. So we're going to enter uh, Rock Tunnel here. And we have three repels, and Hwanli is going to move flawlessly through this, um, which looks really impressive, and I'm not going to say it's not like a little hard. Is you know, it kind of is, but uh, Hwanli uh, can see very well in this Rock Tunnel, so we don't need to get Flash. Let's getting flash would take way too long. Yeah. Because I think way. you need what twenty Pokemon or something? It's a lot. Is it? Yeah. I it was like I'm seven pretty sure or it's a like ten. I yeah, I don't know. But I know you need uh, to catch Pokemon for that, which would not be worth it. Oh, what am I doing? I was looking at my capture card for a second there and I literally I, I, I just said you're gonna move flawlessly, Hanley. Don't no, make no, me a I liar. Was... Oh, oh, just lagged. It, it was IRL lot lag, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no one saw So, that. now you have a new move here of Thunderbolt. We're going to be using it a decent amount. Uh, Juanli, what, why is Bubble Beam and Thunder, Thunderbolt uh, so good on Nidoking? It's amazing coverage. Because... Yeah, but... What, what, it does not like it has a high special attack or anything, does it? Oh, it does. Yeah. So yeah. in Gen in Gen One, there was no special split. Uh -oh. So there's only a special stat which works for your special attack and special. Oh no. Okay. We're good. We're good. No 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 stun spore. That's literally the only thing I didn't want to see. Because yeah. then I'm forced to use my full restore, and then my entire bag changes. 
I have my bag menus get different, but it's fine. So that was a scary fight too. I forgot that uh, it was about to happen yeah. until I saw literally the the Pokemon on the screen. Yeah, that is the last scary fight of this split, I think. And then um, to go back to what we were talking about, so uh, Gen One didn't have a special split, so special attack and special defense are the same stat. So, uh, tanky Pokemon in later gens, like Nitto King here, uh, actually has a good special attack as well. And those three repels are just enough to get through uh, Mount Moon. Uh, luckily for Gen 1, uh, a lot of the grass can be just avoided. I think that's like a unsung reason why Gen 1 is kind of fun to play, is you don't have to walk through Oops. grass between every town. Uh, so we're getting through uh, these fights uh, that uh, surprisingly can kill you if you're in red bar if you get very unlucky um, will almost never happen but there's plenty of fun clips of very very uh, good famous runners uh, dying in the, that fight in particular so the lights are about to come on soon yes finally we get to see and we're just coming on an hour of the run, and uh, Juan Lee, I think you're on great pace. I am. This is really good. I could skip the mini game and go for sub two, clueless. Oh, <laughs> uh, that you know, that would just be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> or I can uh, do the mini game and get sub two. We'll just YOLO E4. Perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, you have all the options. Yep. We'll let Chad pick. <laughs> Alright, so we hike through Lavender. Our first stop is going to be the Mart once we fight this guy. And uh, we're going to pick some items along the way throughout the underworld, under underground tunnel. <laughs> we are now entering the Pokemon underworld. The underworld. Uh, but yeah, we're uh, heading into basically our big shopping spree. Um, uh, almost all Pokemon runs have a oh, big oh. shopping. Oh no! Okay. Got burnt. Wait, do do? you got burned too? Oh yeah, no! I got burnt. Wait, uh, I just sent her. I just sent her. Yeah, you have to center then. It was something he was now. maybe gonna do anyways, but he had high enough. Oh, so I, funny. I, I, I thrash. No, what did I thrash? Uh oh. I could have. Well, I, I don't think. I, I think it's probably the same. Bubble Beam wouldn't have really been likely to kill either. Uh, I was not expecting that. I, I've never gotten that before, ever. You never missed range in the burn? Wow. I think. Actually, no. I think once, maybe, in a race. See, here's the problem. We were talking about how the run was good, so we have to complain yeah. the run is bad for the good luck oh, to come back. You jinxed the run, dude. Thanks Yeah, I. You know what? Why was I even invited? <laughs> <laughs> Why were you even invited? <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, Almost. I'm gonna be quiet for a moment. Nah, nah, I got it. Okay. I, I use the jingle, like the uh, game jingle. Yeah. Oh, oops, where's the nugget? There we go. Okay, perfect. Right, so, perfect, we're gonna yeah. grab two perfect items moment. down here. Um, this nugget you don't normally get in a real run, but the elixir we definitely get. Uh, the nugget we're gonna use for safety, and we are gonna be doing that uh, big shopping spree here. Uh, remember center. Yeah, I got a center because I'm burned. Otherwise, we would skip the center 100%. I wonder if I could buy full heal. And I don't think they sell full heals in the other. In the, I, I mean, you, just... you have enough money, you could swing a, an extra full restore, whatever they have for that. They yeah, probably have I'd burn heals, actually. It. But it's, it, it. this is easier. Yeah. We're, we're Pokemon speedrunners. We don't like to think, okay? We just like to. You know, we don't go, like go, to go, think. Go. But here, I actually gotta think. Gotta look, yep. look at the movement of the girl. She went down. Make sure I go on the other way up. We're gonna be buying horn drill. We're gonna be buying super repels. We're gonna be buying super potions. Yeah. So uh, T TMO seven is horn drill, uh, which we'll explain when we teach it. Uh, super repels. Those are repels we'll use uh, due, due to some cool menuing. Uh, our cursor was at super potions, so we're gonna have plenty of super potions. 
Uh, revives aren't really worth it in yellow, even if you're playing safe, so we don't even bother. Um, we're gonna save for fights that are bad. Uh, we're gonna go down and talk to this person, um, and then we are going to sell the extra nugget we had, and then we are gonna buy a polka doll. This is very important. We only need yep. one of them. And then we are gonna go up to the top floor, actually. We're gonna we are going to... Yeah, I'm a little thirsty. Everyone, uh, remember to hydrate. Gra grab grab, your nearest okay. beverage and go, take go a hydrate. drink. Uh, we're going to get two. So this is where the route changes from uh, even a few years ago, if you've seen a marathon run. Uh, we are going to be doing soda pop that's normal. We're also going to be giving a fresh water. And that is going to get us a TM, a TM13, which is ice beam. And then we're going to buy a fresh water on the way out because remember, hydration is important. And here comes the most important items of the entire run, right here. X accuracies, baby. Yeah. So, how, we're gonna buy a lot. Ready? Oops. 12 for safety. I think you need 11 by default. Yeah. 6x speeds we'll be using a ton of. A uh, few X attacks will be valuable. And then yeah, X specials. And uh, no, no one likes X defend. So, we're, we're just leaving. Yeah, we don't need X defense. So we pretty much bought an extra X accuracy. Um, we bought an, two extra X speeds. An, e an extra X attack. And the same amount of specials we get from the regular run. Those are not useful for us at all. So it's mainly the, nice... the X speeds that I get for are for uh, Lorelei, the Bubble Beam Speedfall, and then for Agatha uh, Troll. And then the yeah, X then... accuracy I get, so I don't have to save for Lorelei. Um, yeah, the nice thing about uh, doing this, even though it's slower on average, is uh, if it goes bad, uh, we actually can save it in the fight. We don't have to just save for every kind of fight that can go wrong. So Juan Lee doing some good routing here. Uh, we're going to be swapping and using a ton of stuff and teaching some things. So whenever we teach a TM, it puts us back to the top of our bag, which is actually helpful. We're kind of reordering this bag as we go and then uh, teaching... Uh, an HM and then using TMs to kind of jump back. So horn drill is now at the top because uh, we moved it there, which will pop it out of our um, a bag. Uh, we have all of our moves taught, and then we're going to swap again, and we are going to now teach fly, which is at the bottom of our bag. So not only did we reorder at the top of our bag, we are able to teach things all in kind of like one continuous plan. And that's the longest menu of the game, I'm pretty sure. Um, e yeah, yeah, sort of. The the one after Koga is also kind of lengthy, oh, yeah. but <laughs> that, we don't that one can be strength, yeah, so I think it's kind of the same, yeah. And yeah, then, I think it's uh, the one, yeah. uh, we're actually entering one of the more annoying parts of the run. Um, not really this fight, but this tower. Um, we are going to be dealing with, uh, like some ghastlies. So you'll notice one of the things we taught was rock slide, uh, which we'll get to, into in a moment. But the first thing, uh, the other thing we taught was horn drill. So in Gen 1, when you use an X accuracy, it completely removes the accuracy check at all. So now all of our moves are going to hit, which makes a one hit KO move like horn drill always hit. And the other criterion Gen 1 is it's not level based. It's as long as you're faster than the other Pokemon, you're going to want to hit KO. It. So, Juanli, what, how, how big is Horn Drill in this entire run? Huge. Huge. Just huge. huge Horn Drilling? Bro. Huge. Huge, bro. Huge. Huge, bro. It's insane. <laughs> insane. Insane. Yeah, it's it's pretty much the the uh, probably the only reason we still take Nido King, right? Well, I, I say, uh, in in yellow, n probably you don't have any other options. But um, the one hit KO is so big. So in e even in red, uh, it's one of the reasons why Nido King is ran. So I was kind of saying like there's a ton of reasons why we, why we pick Nido King. This is kind of one of the last reasons we'll bring up is that it has access to a one hit KO move, which is yeah. good. Uh, but now we're going to be going into annoying fights. We're going to fight three of them, I think. And yep. um, they're Gastlies. And th these... Use Rock Slide. We hate the, this, these Gastlies more than anything in the entire one. Do you want to know why? Because we literally bought an entire item and talked to a girl... 
to get this TM. We're only going to use this move like three times. Rock Slide is only used for these Ghastlies. It's because Ghastly has a high special, so we can't really shoot one shot them with anything else. Nope. And since they're ghost types, we can't really hit them with any of our other moves easily. So Rock Slide will one shot them. And you're like, oh, why don't you just two shot them with Thunderbolt? Quanley, what are their moves? They have Lick. They have Confuse Raid. And Nightshade. Well, Nightshade's not that bad. Nightshade's, Nightshade's literally the best one you can get, but you can and, also and get Unlucky. Right? Uh, no, I think it's just those three. Uh, have but Supersonic as well? I don't think so. I, I could be wrong, though. Oh. I think it's just those three. Yeah, they have the most annoying moves ever. Especially yeah. Lick, because it can paralyze you. And the only way for us to heal in Paralyze is by using our full restore. And we only have one in our in our bag. And in the moment we use that full restore, our whole bag changes, so all the menus change. Yep. Well, not all and the menus, but most of them. Some of the swapping menus change, so. And you could maybe buy, like, a Paralyze Heal or something earlier on. It's just not worth having, for the most part. It's going to make your bags too long and annoying for the slight chance of being paralyzed. Yeah, and if you really think about it, like, logically, it's only one fight that it can really happen on. So, it just doesn't... It's not worth buying it or, like, routing revives or paralyzed heals for, like, mm -hmm. two Pokemon or... Uh, four, four Ghastlies. You know? Three fights. I forgot. There are four. Uh, there's four... Uh, yeah, four Ghastlies. Three fights. You were right. It was three fights. You... you say semantics, or right? <laughs> we didn't miss. We didn't miss Rock Slide. That's amazing. Yeah. Rock Slide is 90% accurate too, which is annoying. Uh, and now we're gonna get another rare candy. Yeah. And we're gonna be using our Poké Doll. Oh, uh, we're, we're actually game. gonna yeah glitch the game, cheat a little bit. Just no one tell the moderators we're doing it. It's fine. Everyone Uncle be cool. Jordan. <laughs> so totally, one totally here is swapping legit. some stuff up. Yep. So to explain it a little bit, uh, what Poké Doll does is it's going to end the fight but the way that it flags the fight is it counts as a victory it's not like running away uh it kind of inherently interacts with the back end system of the game a little bit differently than running away would it is it ends the fight flags it as a victory so that sets the flag for the game that we dealt with the uh haunting here so we don't have to go get the self scope which skips a whole section of the game now there is a category of the game that uh, is called Classic that uh, doesn't allow that, and I think it's really cool. Uh, Juan Lee's running it done. Um, yeah, so, uh, shout out to Classic. It's, uh, it's a cool category. Weezing. Weezing. Wow. Shout out to I, Classic Runners. I feel like I'm watching the anime. That was so good, Juan Lee. Rocket blast off again. Uh, we uh will see them again. Yeah, we we'll actually see them pretty fast. All right, so All this right. part of the run, get the okay flute, and then we are gonna go to Sylph. So uh, yellow in Gen One in general. Uh, we kind of reach this part of the game where we can actually start going to do things in different orders. Uh, you know, when we got to Celadon, uh, it's like, oh, why don't we go fight Erica? Well, we will fight Erica, but it's actually going to be quite a while. We're going to do something that uh, is a little bit crazy if, like, you don't know the speedrunning route. That we're actually going to go to Sylph and basically clear it out. We're going to finish that. Um, and there's some high-level stuff in there, but because of routing, because of how good Nitto King is, we'll show you just how easy it can be. We'll see exactly why we want to go to Sylph first. And this will be probably the only instance in the game, or in a lot of speedruns, where you're actually fighting an optional on purpose. Yeah, so the optional we're talking about, some people may not even truly know they're an optional, right? Oh, the Red Runners don't know. <laughs> Red Runners will come in and be like, Why are you fighting an optional, Huan Li? <laughs> they are... Like, listen, listen, Red Runner, let me explain it to you. They are... They are 100% not optional for this routing, I would say. I, I think they've tried to route out this fight for years, and it still yes. remains. Um, 
So we're going to do a fight. Yeah, like Juan Luna is saying, in red, you don't do. But what are... Well, I guess we'll get to it in a moment. So this guy's the optional we're talking about. We even need to use an X item on him. Yep. Yeah, we're trying to minimize the damage we take here. Like red here, we don't we don't want to have red bar. Silk bar is not our friend. It's not something we want to get. Ah. Uh, well. Okay. I guess All I'm right. gonna. I'm probably gonna super before Geo unless uh, it, unless I get sun attack. Dang. Cry trap is almost always gonna crit, so we shouldn't be surprised when we get that move. But it's still annoying. But yeah, let's uh let's uh count out as a group uh, all the great items we're gonna get. So, and we're actually, we're grabbing Wait. these in backwards order so they're in our bag in the way we want. Rare candy? That's amazing. Carvos, that makes us faster. Wow. Yeah. So, Earthquake TM, uh, Rare Candy, and a Carvos, which is going to give us uh, basically uh, stat uh, XP, which is uh, the EVs of Gen 1. Uh we're going to be able to make our Nato King faster with Carbos. And then uh, this Earthquake is huge. Everyone knows how good Earthquake is. I don't need to explain. And then we get rid of um, the Rock Slide, because who needs it? Also, we need really need that Carbos. Otherwise, we would be forced to use an X speed on the uh, rival fight. And the problem with doing that is Bancher can slash us. And two slashes from Sand Slash will kill us. So if we set up one X accuracy and we get slash, we have to set up an X speed on a different Pokemon. And our only other option is the Magneton that has Supersonic. So it's pretty risky to do that. And I feel like Sand Slash will use Slash most of the time anyways. So you're kind of risking a chance there to get confused. Yeah, because... By using the Carbos, we are able to eliminate the use of that X speed. Uh, the... The, going back to uh, the AI of the uh, trainers, uh, your rival is like an example where I think every single time uh, they have uh, every single time past a certain point, they're going to have this uh, kind of better AI that's going to uh, fight a little bit more intelligently uh, and especially when you get to the E4 and the layer fights uh, that's going to come in kind of more consistently, so uh, it's going to turn into a lot kind of quick where some of the fights can be very scary yeah. so going into this fight this is going to be uh probably one of the biggest level disparities you'll see uh we're not supposed to be here right now obviously you can get here but the game's uh kind of uh built in the way that you really shouldn't be here yet you should be uh higher level when you get here you should be fighting erica and crying <laughs> I mean, Ring if I had to fight her life. without an ice move, I probably would cry too. <laughs> okay, Swift, no crit. Oh, nice. <laughs> that health is amazing. All right, but that's good. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to heal here or not. You're right on the edge, aren't you? Of like. It's like, oh, it's a good idea. It's so, a, I, I, I think you're good, man. Like you bite, be. crit, flinch, oh. stomp, crit. I'm like, ah. I mean, a what could go wrong? wrong? A lot. <laughs> what could no, go well, no, wrong? nothing, nothing can go wrong. Only, look, uh, you, you're killing it. Uh, I, I, I've, I've had a death on on a practice run in here, and I lost like three minutes just coming back. Oh. The, the walk of shame, basically. So you, have, uh, you have so many uh, friends in your party as well. Yeah, so we, we just saw Flareon there. We're going to see Flareon more. But also, um, uh, this is uh, another route change. Uh, what's what's going to happen here, Juan? Are, are, Usually uh, we get Lapras, but we're going to skip it. Because since Pikachu has Surf, we can teach Strength to Charmander. And we don't need... Lapras at all, and yeah, it actually saves time, which is awesome. Uh, so that that's a kind of a cool thing. Uh, and then this is gonna be one of our last, or is, I, or is this the last time we see uh, the last, the, the team last, rocket. Uh, okay, yeah, the last team rocket. So, say goodbye to team rocket, everyone. Uh, it's been fun, um, but 
you know, we're going to just roll over them, so oh, they won't be missed that much. Oh, I just uh, one missed! Oh, no! Okay, I'm definitely okay. healing now. <laughs> yeah, so, the, you know, geez. Okay, let's dive into it. So, in Gen 1, uh, I'm glad it happened. It always has to. <laughs> I'm uh, glad it happened. Thanks, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. People need to know about Gen 1 misses, all right? All right, you're, you're educating the masses. All right, so in Gen 1... Uh, be because of computers, basically, the game is going to roll a number between 1 and 255, okay? Now, the problem is, well, when we get the max roll, okay, uh, it's going to basically count as a miss, no matter what. And uh, going or using an X accuracy can get around that, but moves that are 100% if you get your max roll because it's rolling between 0 and 255. If you get the max roll of 255, uh, the game uh, does a miscalculation where in one of the checks, it's basically seeing if it's gonna hit. It's like if the roll was 255 or less than it, it's gonna hit. But instead of being equal to or less than, it's just less than. So if you get the max roll, it will count as a miss. Let's see if I get this range. Nice. Okay, I got the range on the Persian. Let's go. It's really good. Only is, uh, despite getting uh, a general miss, that is one of the better places to get it. He, he can just heal. Yeah. And this fight wound up going pretty good. Yep, no damage, really. Just payday, which is kill. Payday, though, will get us uh, an extra text box at the end of the fight. Yeah, extra money. <laughs> Which uh, we, we will not be shopping again. <laughs> oh well, yeah, we, do. we shop one more time. We shop. Oh again. really? Oh yes, we do. You're right. I get a bunch of full restores because I'm chicken. Yeah. For safety, we will. I right, know we're gonna get dig out of here. We got out of here, and we're gonna go wake up Snorlax, and we're gonna be doing the whole safari section, and getting the uh, getting the teeth, getting surf, oh. fake getting surf. The dual menu here. So yeah, we're gonna okay. menu in front of Snorlax, and we're gonna wake Snorlax up. Um, I feel like everyone caught Snorlax here as a kid because it was just such a unique Pokemon. But we're not gonna be catching it here today. A cool thing in Gen One is uh, you can actually play the Poke Flute in battle to wake up a sleeping Pokemon. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to do that today. There's <laughs> uh, two situations where we might. Call yeah. the champ fight. Commentator's curse. So, uh, the, yeah. <laughs> we'll see about that. That'll be fun. Um, uh, Juanley won't speak to me after this because of yeah. everything I'm cursing at this point. You're so, banned uh, in my channel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not already. I'm surprised. <laughs> um, but, uh, a bunch of times you'll see Juanli use uh, repels kind of when we're already menuing. This is one of the examples. He repelled early, and uh, we do that just so we don't get an encounter in that grass, and then eventually it's going to run out and we're going to use more. Uh, but uh, Juanli is actually not holding a button here, or at least if you are, I think you're a little weird. Um, no, not. <laughs> the, the game actually auto moves you down in this section. Um, so, uh, getting that item is actually a little bit harder than you would think, just because it, like, auto-moves you and you have to try to stop and grab it. Uh, but, uh, there's been a few runners who, like, their controller has died at that exact moment, or something, and they've auto-ran the into the trainer. <laughs> yeah. The trainer. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. So we're going to do the Savari Zone here, and uh, we're going to get a few items. Um, we uh, need uh, the gold teeth for strength. So e even though we have Surf on Pikachu, we'd have to go here for um, strength anyways. Yeah, I, I will I will get the uh, Surf HM just for the back slot and just showcase. Um... Uh, getting where, where you get it and stuff, but technically we don't need to get it at all, and I could pick something else up to fill the slot. But and, and, and it's almost better to just you know go with what you, you know. Wanley does not run yeah. only Pikachu surfing, uh, so 
Uh, yeah, I would like to try to do you know. real attempts at some point, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot. I didn't get, I didn't get surf. <laughs> oh, oops. Imagine losing a PB to uh, forgetting surf of all surf. things. Yeah, because technically I could just back out of here. But Yeah. Don't do it. Stick with what you know. <laughs> all right. First person to reach here, and we get the only surf in the world. Let's go. And now, uh, we have a full bag, I believe, correct? Yes. So, uh, this is where, uh, the bag maximum count actually matters. We can hold up to 20 items. And, like we said before, every single gym leader gives us, uh, bag, uh, not bag items, uh, well, yes, but they give us TMs, uh, and, uh, while the ones we got, few of them were very helpful, we don't want them, because it's gonna be more text and slow, so, if we have a full bag, we actually can skip that. And they'll be like, come back later, and they will never see Juan Lee again. <laughs> exactly. Well said, Sudo. Top left, All top right. left. No, oh, sorry. Top left, oh, bottom left, down. Bunked on her. What am I doing? What? I don't know. <laughs> I, almost, I almost tried to make you throw the rock. I almost forgot. I almost, I almost, my mind almost went to Koga, and then I'm like, wait, no, Sabrina. Sabrina. <laughs> I don't have so, my splits yeah. open, so I usually look at the splits to where to go next. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, uh, not gonna fight, um, I'm Erica fighting a for a bit, fifty though. Abra here. Oh, yeah, very, this is the funniest very, part. Very freaking funny. So, actually, nothing can go wrong. This is the few fights that, with every weird thing in Gen 1, this is, like, one of the few fights that cannot go wrong. Because we use an X accuracy. And an X attack. And this is why... Sorry, an X speed uh, to get faster. So we uh, cannot miss uh, at all. So no Gen 1 shenanigans. Um, and we're going to kill this Alkazam because we're faster in Horn Drill. We also we kill at level 39 instead of level 40 because we get a bigger batch boost from the speed or something like that. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Yep. I had and the other day, I came into this fight at level 40 and I had to uh, double car. I had to carbos somewhere. Like, yeah, the, the, this, this is, is pretty. This is so yeah. interesting. I was like, oh my god. When you level up in a battle, and this is why Juan Lee has to be careful of when uh, he dies. Also, he uh, goes back to the teleport before digging out because the animation's faster. Uh, shout out to everyone who routes this game and finding cool tech like that. But mm -hmm. um, when you level up in a fight, like we said before, badge boosts disappear. And this game is routed that you should never fight optionals and you shouldn't die, right? So when Juan Lee is playing safe and doing all this, if he would die or fight an optional, he has to be ready to deal with this extra XP. This is one of the yeah. few games where extra XP can actually screw you over and make you weaker in the middle yeah. of a fight. And it's very confusing also for like a new runner. You know, you're doing the route. Oh, I hit an optional. I got some extra XP. Whatever. Then you get to a fight, and then out of nowhere, you're a level higher but slower, and then you're like, What? What is going I, on? I was that actually trying to help a new runner. This is years ago. And then he fought an optional, and on Blaine, I'm like, You have to dig out. Don't fight Blaine. You have to go fight Erica now. And I, he didn't know who I was. He's like, yeah. That's not what the notes say. I'm not going <laughs> to listen to you. And he died in Blaine. And I'm like, I'm trying to explain it. And he's just like, this game's stupid, and I mean, I don't think he ever ran it again. I wouldn't run this again if that happened to me. It was uh, like his third run or something. I'm just trying to talk him through, and he's like, no, the notes say this, and then died. He's like, why? It's like, well, you see, <laughs> Gen 1. someone in chat to be like, that was me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. I remember you. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All right. Uh this fight's pretty simple. Hypno. The worst scenario here is the Hypno using Confusion and confusing us. Uh, Never gonna happen. Swap. Never seen it once, Wanley. That scenario would be for us to just crit Earthquake. Or. I don't know. If, I don't think this is a range. I think you can only crit to kill. Yeah, it's only crit. Okay. Poison Gas, amazing. Come on. Okay. Poison Gas, sick. Sweet. Okay, so I'm just gonna save here. Um. Uh, yeah, that, that's great. And go bad in many ways. Yeah, so uh, in red, you'll see Koga. Uh, they actually die on purpose to it. We do not want that. <laughs> no, like, the dying to Koga's Pokemon bad. are completely different than in uh, red here. Yeah. 
So, uh, by this point in red, uh, when they fight Koga, they want to be, like, low HP for the rest of the run. We're not like that at all. Yellow's a different monster, so... This fight, uh, sucks. <laughs> okay, no sleep powder. That's good. Okay, good. Uh, this is the most likely place to oh. see the, um, the Poke Flute be used. Nice, nice, nice health. Nice. Woo! -hoo. Everyone, can I get nice in chat? X, X attack? Oh. Yeah, so, uh, how the gym layers work is, uh, they each have X items. Well, uh, some of them at least, I know, I think all of them do. Um, and, uh, Koga, for some reason, has X attacks. And how they work is they just have a chance to use an X attack yeah. uh, on their turn, which uh, can be slowed because it goes before us. So if we're going to hit first and you suddenly see them do something, most of the time it's because they're using an X item, which is slower. But sometimes we want it because one, they could have gotten put to sleep there. All right. Well, I hope everybody's ready because the best part of the run comes now. We're gonna we're gonna take a little break actually. Wait, um, wait, wait, we're gonna wait, take a wait, little wait. break from the speed run, and we're gonna go play a mini game really quick. Wait, wait what do you so, mean? Want want to? You, you, have, you gotta go get strength and fly away. What? Get your, no, no. Get, no? Get, get your surfboard. Dude. We're going surfing. Okay. We're gonna change the game, I guess. Yeah. So I I've never seen this actually. We're taking a detour. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun in this PSR marathon, dude. Cause Sometimes you just gotta go have some fun, dude. And here we go. Time to relax, and we're gonna go surfing with Pikachu. <laughs> some rad 360s. <laughs> Everyone, this is why this run is amazing. I've never seen this before. I've only seen pictures of it. <laughs> only surf in chat. <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing! Wait, what's your high score? Uh, it doesn't save it, because remember, I have, like, a new file every time. Yeah, yeah, but, but... Oh, uh... I don't know, like, 5,000 something. Oh, this is awesome! Oh, because you know! You know, someone made this and was smiling the entire time. <laughs> Like, this is not someone, someone, like, gets up, they're like, oh, I gotta go to work today and, like, finish <laughs> this. They're like, I get to code the Pikachu surfing game. Oh, I wanted to go for a 350, but, oh, I should have done on that one. Okay, oh, well. <laughs> and that's it. If I have time at the end, we can, we can come back and do it again. <laughs> do you have, like, tech you use for oh. this? Tech, what do you mean? <laughs> like, like, strategy that you do? Uh, oh, 4,000. Oh, that's not a good score. No. Oh, wow. Oh, the just, nerves getting that... to you? Yeah, the nerves got to me. I wasn't <laughs> that rad. Oh, I've never seen that animation with him in the surfboard at the end. That's so cool. So, I do you later. get anything for that? Or is that just oh, fun? That's just fun. I guess you can play it again and try to beat your score, dude. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, now we're going back to the boring speed running. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually... Uh... We, we have like a half an hour estimate, you know, like, can we just do that for a good 10 minutes? Everyone, uh, have some fun. Oh, no, uh, okay. Um, never mind. We're gonna fly away. I gotta do some menu here. Which ice beam first. Yeah, so I, I kind of brought this up before, uh, but Ice Beam uh, is um, kind of a route change. Uh, Blizzard was used uh, for quite a while. Uh, we got rid of Thrash. Thrash did, did its job, uh, but we're kind of done with it now. Uh, but it was Blizzard for uh, the longest time, uh, and in red, it's still Blizzard. Uh, it actually started out with Ice Beam in yellow, and then um, you know they started using Blizzard, and a few years ago, they switched it back. Yeah, so. Check this out. And now we're also Pikachu. <laughs> Who needs Lapras? Hey, wait, where's Ash? Oh my, I love this. I've never seen this animation. I'm not even trolling you. What? <laughs> he looks so funny. Okay, this sprite looks so rushed. <laughs> you can barely so tell. So chunky. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like they realized like the last day before they were gonna like finalize it. They're like, oh, we never create a special animation for that. Uh, so we're in mansion here. We need to go here, but uh, there's there's a few cool things we're gonna get. Uh, and notably, uh, this is where um, the Blizzard TM normally is, but we don't care about that. Nah, we don't need that. We, we know what we don't want. We don't want rats. No rats. Uh, no yeah, rats, I, I, I forget what the emote everyone uses for that is. But spam, spam any emote you want. To try to keep the rats away. <laughs> so in Pokemon, repels only work if your lead Pokemon is higher level uh, than the Pokemon you run into. You have to be higher level. And there is a chance uh, to get encounters here of Pokemon that are higher level than our Nidoking King right now. Also, shout out to that tr that uh, person. He's a trainer, but yeah. you have to talk to him yep. to fight him. He's like the first OG spinner, but he won't uh, like hit you. But he if you no talk vision. to him, you end up in a fight. He's blind, actually. You didn't know? No, no, I didn't. Yep. I asked the producers of the game. But... Wow, yep. crazy uh, exclusive info from Juan Lee Ways here. Okay. okay, sick. No rat. So now we're gonna dig out with our buddy old pal Charmander. And we're gonna go fight Blaine. It's question time. Yeah, we're still we'll still we're still afraid of Erica. I mean she she she's scary. Yeah, we we don't wanna fight Erica. We fight her at the end. Time for the funny questions. So this is one of the few times that it's actually faster in yellow. Because, really uh, for whatever reason, this, like, preamble that explains how to take a quiz is explained for every question in red. But in yellow, they, they just explain it to you the first time. Which is hilarious when you see someone running red for, like, a while and they try yellow. I've seen so many red runners switch to yellow, and they will just button mash through, <laughs> like, the first couple te uh, texts <laughs> and get a question wrong. They're like, yep, oh, no. Yep. Yeah, it's been a while since I got one of these questions wrong. They happen. It oh, so commentator happened. curse. It finally had nah, nah, not on a marathon. <laughs> Mashing one button since the beginning. <laughs> this, this is my favorite one. Wait. It's literally two two B presses. One, two. Wait, am I hearing Juanli being a Juanli chicken? <laughs> <laughs> and saving again, just in case. I think this is probably the least fight that I could save for because I buy an yeah. extra X attack in case I get Growl. So the chances that I get double Growl hit is pretty low. But, but... Considering eh. my health, I don't know if I'm dead to Stomp Crit or... Oh, but did you bring a Burn Heal? He said we need No, one. I didn't buy one. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, we don't, we don't set up on Nine Tails anymore. We set up on Rapid Dash now. Yeah, for, uh... It doesn't know agility, though, right? Nah. Okay. Too yeah, bad. Anyway, so. Yeah, imagine if we knew agility with fire spin, it would be horrible. Okay, crit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's two turn. That's not bad. So, uh, fire spin's one of those trapping moves, so it can just be annoying. Also, finally, I will be away for one minute. You got this. Okay. All right, pseudo trainer's gone. Let's, let's throw a party. Alright, so this part... Finish Blaine. Then we're gonna dig out and finally fight Erica. The fights coming up here are pretty simple. Erica doesn't really have anything that can kill us. Kind of the reason why we wait for her to be the seventh gym that we do. Because now Ice Beam will literally just one shot everything.
So the Execute dies to Ice Beam. Of Erica's Pokemon also died to Ice Beam. I don't think there's anything uh, special about this gym. Pretty much just come in and clear everything. Pretty standard. I'm, I'm back and you're alive. That's crazy. <laughs> we get to see Pikachu. Uh, he was inside the bush for there for <laughs> half a second. Yeah, so funnily enough, after you like fight things, things you cut down and stuff come back right away. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. You can do to do it again. So yeah, e Erica is the last gym leader we fight before like we unlock the end. So uh, ending on Erica is just really funny. So this fight uh, with Blizzard was actually annoying. Uh, oh yeah. Because you I could remember. miss Blizzard and just weird things could happen. And Gloom, such an annoying Pokemon. I think we Earthquake Gloom, though. The Blizzard route, but anyways. Probably, right. honestly. But re regardless, you use Blizzard, I think, at some point, and you can get, like, yeah, paralyzed yeah. or wrapped or whatever. Yeah, I think it was wrapped or buying or construct or annoying ones. Alright, so now we're yeah, on our way to the Yeah, because it was EQ, Blizz, EQ. So it was whatever the second Pokemon was with the annoying one. So yeah, into the end game, uh, we have uh, a super secret gym leader here uh, that no one would ever guess. <laughs> um, and oh, that's uh, where it is. I love having Pikachu, Pikachu this whole way. It's great. So I wanted to try to get that revive in the gym to do the little spinny tiles, but. <laughs> It would, it would have to. It would only require for me to not buy enough. X, only buy two X attacks. Uh, and but I kind of wanted to have the extras for Blaine. So yeah, e extras are so always better, right? Yeah, the, then spinny tiles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially because revives in yellow just are not. They don't go nearly as far. And on the way back after fighting Geo, we can go. We can do the, the long way. <laughs> so uh, in this gym, uh, one cool thing you can do is. Uh, so this trainer is kind of blocking his way, uh, and uh, Juan Lee is fighting him, and then he's going to leave and re-enter the gym, which resets the trainer's position, uh, which will allow Juan Lee to uh, go through um, and fight the gym leader. But we fight, in, like, technically an optional, uh, but it's because it's faster than using spinning tiles. <laughs> Because in order to um, fight this trainer without fighting the last one we fought, we'd have to go through the right spinny tiles, fight him, and then like go back through them. I think, and it's it it take way too long. Yeah, well, I'll show you. I'll show you why the spinny tiles are bad if I don't die to Giovanni. <laughs> that, that'll be the present. Okay, getting through Giovanni in this game is a little rough because uh, we are now entering. Uh, Basically, every single trainer from here on out is good AI in a hard fight, technically. Yep. Coming in. I'm, I'm going into this fight with 107 health. The recommended is 106, so... I'm going to pray for Fisher or Garspec. Otherwise, we're going to have to... Or Dig, I guess. No, no Earthquake. Okay, I'm at 110 away, still. Nice. <laughs> Spinny tiles it is. That's amazing. So Fissure is exactly what you're looking for, which is weird. Because Dugtrio is faster at the yeah. start. Uh, but since Wanli uses an X speed, that will push his speed to be faster than Dugtrio. So Horn Drill will miss, even though it's higher level in general and space off of speed. Uh, and by this point, it's kind of free sailing. Everything went really well in this fight. I'm so happy with, with all this. All your fights have been really solid. Yeah, which, I know. Uh, it's been so solid. To, to do the commentary's curse. Uh, wow, we're the, entering the, the E4, E4 curse. in yellow. Huh. 
crit Nothing dungeon? ever goes wrong there, right? The, the crit dungeon? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, E4 and red compared to yellow is a different monster. Like, red, they have, like, they go in low HP, there's a ton of strats, and, like, the, how their AI kind of lines up with the Pokemon that, uh, you're pretty safe in most of E4. That's not true in yellow. Um, it, like, at world record pace, like, both are scary, but, uh, for, like, general, like, yellow Spinny running... Tiles! Oh, let's do it! It's been... Oh, we get to have Pikachu spin we too. That's amazing. Fall asleep. Oh lord. All right, so that's why we skipped him. <laughs> yeah. Now you know. And now we teach strength to Charmander. Yeah. I used to. I changed it to teach it later, so you wouldn't. Um use it by mistake <laughs> that's fair uh, uh, I keep using strength when i was trying to cut i kept doing that and i was like i thought about it and i was like wait a minute i can so make the menus faster by just one routing that cool th cool thing uh Lee did there is he used uh carbos here for the bag slot we used carbos to make sure we didn't get the final gym leader tm but by this point uh the bag count no longer matters we're not going to get another uh item we don't mean to so uh, this, uh, opens up room for Juanli to buy full restores and things like that, uh, and, uh, up all that. Or if we wanted to. Max Ether, it's great. Uh, but also, uh, now we have the speed, which matters for this fight. Yeah. Then we can just X Special, which X Special also gives you a little bit of a speed boost. But I think with the Carbos, it just makes it, uh, okay to just use X Special here. I think the old route would would set up X accuracy as well and a horn drill here, some stuff. Yep. Uh, you'd use Blizzard, some horn drill, and things like that. Yeah. Uh, and most importantly, the Carbo stat XP is not uh, applied until um, you level up, is what I recall. And I oh, think wow. you level up in this fight. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if we level up now and then it makes us faster than the Kadabra. Uh, I, I think that's how it's routed. Uh, another no. way you can get stat XP without leveling up is boxing the Pokemon. No, nope. uh, you're know. right. You're right. Because when I was doing the Mewtwo, yeah, uh, thing, I had to do that. Yeah. Is it the final? Po Maybe it's Flareon, but re regardless, we can just use the Carbos there. Even if the Carbos stat XP doesn't matter now, by the time we level up, we'd have it. But. Um, I think the uh, rival champs Flareon can't even kill us. I think it just spams Reflect. Yeah, <laughs> I am not surprised. Uh, I think I uh, ran out of PP with everyone, and I was like, oh, Gen no, 1 AI uh, is great. <laughs> so certain right. moves that don't damage are still coded as like being super effective. And that's where like good AI can actually screw you over. Uh, it's helpful, uh, we can abuse it, but it also means that if for some reason, like Wanley said, if he's out of PP, um, they'll keep spamming the same move, and then Wanley has to, like, struggle and all that, which is interesting. But this, I wish they brought this back in later Pokemon games, this, like, checkpoint of badges. I thought it was yes. so cool as a kid. Yeah, it was really cool. Just being able to get here, even when you didn't have all the badges. Made yeah. Sure get even more. I remember when I found out, like, you could catch Pokemon here, and I, I was like, oh, I betcha we can go there and get a cool Pokemon in the grass there, like, early, but, ah, oh, I love the Pikachu thing. This is great. And since his back is done so weird, because the tail is just like a stick. I'm sad we don't surf more. This will be the We're, last I know. instance we need to surf. surf more. I know. Hey, <laughs> can, can you flip the Pikachu down one more time so we can see his <laughs> animation? Go no, back. no. <laughs> okay. Um, and now we are uh entering uh the actual kind of uh victory road, uh which in this game is uh a mountain pass sort of thing. Almost all Pokemon, it's in like this rock area. Um, but uh, this uh is actually very annoying to do in yellow. Uh, yeah, this bunch of this lag. is so laggy. It's so laggy. Like, Wanli has ran yellow for so long that it, it doesn't bother him anymore. Yeah. But, like, if if you run red, play it ever, or just casually do this... Oh, they, there's the swag boulder. Messed up. Second one out of time. But... The swag uh, boulder. The... 
the lag here just makes this actually kind of annoying to control. Like, you'll bonk by accident if you're not careful, things like that. Uh, but uh, how buffering works, which we kind of talked about a bit in the game, uh, you can buffer the uh, strength kind of, like, animation to turn it uh, before it plays. So we're going to use all the super repels here. Uh, and every single time we transition to a new area, we actually have to reactivate strength. Yeah, and there's also a chance to get uh, Onyxes in this floor yeah, coming what, up. What, what do you mean? There's, no, there, there's zero chance. There will be no Onyxes. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. And, and that all has to do with kind of the routing. Uh, so Nitto King here is just not high enough level. I think the Onyxes are level 49. I don't think they're 40. I think they're 49. Um, so there's really no way you could like try to route yeah. it per se to get around it. Let's fight three more trainers. Let's go to the dojo. <laughs> I, I think one route where they used the rare candies earlier did get you to the high enough level, but... Oh. Uh, it wound up being faster to just do it this way and take your chances with them. If we don't uh, get it at the bottom line over here, we never gonna get one. Hey, hey, that's that's not true. Oh my god, I always get into this spot, dude. Dude, go Same watch spot. the bots. Dude, go watch uh, the bots. Watch the bots. It's always here. You should do the different movement then. You can just go straight for a bit, can't you? I know. I need to do different movement. Then. Yeah, I can. It's always in that little slot. <laughs> uh, say hi uh, to the level 49 Onyx. That should be the last time, but if he's very unlucky, it can happen again, actually. Oh, wait. I forgot to rip out. Oops. Whatever. Ah -ha. And that's our final repel of the... Yep entire run we, we actually have a chance to get onyx again yeah when we go up on the next ladder and the five steps it's, it's only like six tiles or something yeah five or something it, 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 there, there's no way dude there's no, no way, way. <laughs> the game already gave you one right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 okay good I, I I honestly have enough healing items to not buy full restores right now if I wanted to because I have two full restores and four supers. That's pretty good actually. Actually, I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the party. Sounds I'm not gonna good. Deposit. Technically, you would deposit everyone here, but I'm just gonna keep Pikachu, PG, and Charmander. We're gonna bring and we we gotta bring Pikachu so he's in the Hall of Fame. Exactly. No, no, we, I always bring Pikachu, obviously. <laughs> it's just the positive Pikachu. That's the a very weird one. I will just be, play it safe here. So I'm not going to save the first time I do Lorelei. If I die, I have to save. But I have yep. an extra... Exi Actually, I should probably save since I have a full party. Oh, well. Oh, because it take too long to wipe. Uh, it'll take kind of, kind of... Yeah, but eh, who cares? But yeah, to uh, we'll just get rest turn one. Yeah, to Maybe. dive into a little bit of why this fight's weird. Uh, it's it's not guaranteed in yellow. Uh, yeah. so in red we kind of do the same thing, but rest is not guaranteed turn one in yellow. Nope. Example. I I I, I, I was just in my mind. I'm like, or, it's happening, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, it, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I was gonna be like, oh, there's the crate. What's <laughs> But luckily, no crit there. Crit dies. Uh, one reason why th <laughs> this fight is just annoying. Uh, luckily, the next fight is nowhere near as bad. Uh, but the fight after that is gonna be a little bit. Oh, rough, so. Trust me, they know. My, uh, <laughs> the people that have watched me practice this, they know. <laughs> they know. <laughs> <laughs> and there was like three Agathas in a row where it was it was a combination of Confuse Ray, Substitute, and then like Haze. And that's, that's why I rerouted to get like extra XPs. That's amazing. It's not amazing. But the fact yeah, that that I is, know, can happen so consistently is so... It was so it was so bad. <sighs> it was every single time. So uh, Bruno is literally in yellow, like the only one that we don't really worry too much about. 
like uh, we have to elixir just to get our um, uh, corn drills back. Um, but the rest of the fight, it's very unlikely to go bad. Yeah, technically I could just set up here and play it super safe, which I think is what I'm going to do. Sick. I was not dead to slam crit. Probably would have gave me red bar, actually. would have been good. See, I could get, like, Ice Punch frozen from... Hit Monchan? And then if I full restore, I think I lose my X. I think I lose speed or yep. something. Yeah, you lose... Uh... When you, you yeah. when you lose a uh, status with horror story, you don't get your badge boost back. Yeah, exactly. That's I had a I had a one where I had to full restore and was slower than uh. Like, yeah, the the badge boost we mentioned the most is attack early on because it kind of matters the most. But the second most important one is speed, uh, which that's the one that is really rough because most Pokemon are like six to you know eight to ten levels higher than us by this point. So, yeah. uh, being suddenly slower is not a good thing. All right, so on I'm gonna to heal Agatha. and I'm gonna save. I'm gonna play full full chicken here. Everyone, get your Hanley chickens ready. Oh. But trust me, this is warranted. Uh, we love giving Hanley chicken uh, trolling here, but this one's warranted. Agatha is not fun, and it's not fun in either red or yellow. I think I could have routed a candy here, um, some, but I thought about it way too late. I think if you mm. candy before this fight, then you're always faster than the first yep. Gengar. Yeah. Yeah. That's one. That's one thing I regret was not can uh, getting a candy in Mansion. And, but yeah, the late uh, candy in Mansion route was a little popular oh. for a bit. No, don't tell me. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. missed, Link! Oh, what the... What? Yeah, step out! Let's go! <laughs> so, your opponents can also Gen 1 miss. <laughs> what? Let's go. What? Ain't no way. Oh, and we froze it! I oh, we threw! What a chicken! Wow. Let's That's go. amazing. Th that went from the worst case scenario to the best case scenario. It really did, and you were only confused for one turn. One turn. I hit myself. Oh, uh, that's awesome. That's, Which... that's amazing. I'm so happy. <laughs> no, that's great. Also, I'm pretty sure you low rolled your hit yourself. Maybe. <laughs> it doesn't really matter by this point, but that, that's crazy. I'm trying to see how much health I need for her. Probably skip healing here. Yeah, Th this is one of the rare uh, times where sometimes people will try to use a potion here. That's way more common in like red where red bar matters more. But uh, you might if you still have the potion and all that like potion here instead of like being full health just because. No, I'm. Wait, are you talking for me right now in this scenario? No, not you. General? Just in general. Oh, okay, in general. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're not caring about exact HP or damage rolls, right? We're safe, right? <laughs> yeah, we're safe. I'm just full yeah. restoring turn two. Yeah. Or turn three or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, some runners would want to get... Well, here's the thing, though. In yellow, you are setting up the X special on the second Dragonair, so... I think being full health is actually probably better. Almost all the time, I think, yeah. Yeah. Because you can set up on the second Dragonair, but it has like Bubble Beam and you can kind of troll. Yeah, so this is literally the reason why we need Thunderbolt. <laughs> like, okay. Thunderbolt's helpful throughout the run, but any to any runner who's accidentally taught Ice Beam or whatever over... Oh, <gasps> okay. <Good. laughs> yeah, me too, but then I forgot that we, went, we, did, we were in full health when we did this. <laughs> it was gonna go pretty low. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll play the chicken way here, just full restore. Even though slam crit hyper beam crit kills me here. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's free. Alright. So hyper beam does not automatically 
uh, attack again unless you kill. So, free fight now. Uh, Ice Beam amazing. This pace is insane. Yeah, you did amazing. Juan, well, like, aid on do, you, do you know how man. close we were with my... My PB is still set like eight some years ago or however long it was. Like, you are dangerously close to that, which is just making my self-esteem plummet. <laughs> and I did the, the Pikachu mini game. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> <laughs> We're doing like backflips. Well, we, we haven't finished yet. We still have one more fight that can yep. ruin everything for everyone. <laughs> this fight is yeah, not fun, but uh, the fact that we have safety and things like that, I, I'm not worried. This will go great. PSR. All our PSR. Our last all, all, Always standing up. Alright. So we're saving here. Not really because dying is unsafe. Dying means redoing all of that, which uh, is yeah. Yeah. not gonna happen. Uh, there's two Pokemon here that can kill us. The Sand Slash with Earthquake and then Missing the range on the Magneton and Swift Crit. That's about it. PSR wants to fight. PSR sent out Sand Slash. Of course PSR picks no P Gen 1 Pokemon like Sand Slash. How <laughs> dare they? I'm surprised they don't use Sand Attack turn on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, animations are turned on by the way. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, by yeah, just by the default. Way, yeah. They wanted the climatic ending. That's the sound uh, it makes. Uh, <laughs> it scares me every time. I don't think we get. I don't think we keep red water. No, I think you level out. That's pretty close to a chi chi. Almost there. We're very close. Almost uh, there, very close. We we just have one scary Pokemon left, really. Oh, red oh, bike still. Let's go. Nice. All right. Here we go. The moment of truth. I think I do survive a swift hit, though. Yeah, I think you do. Okay. Woo! All right, and that's a GG. Oh, minus menuing mistakes. Good shot. Holy cow, this time. Yeah, this is good. I mean, we didn't die anywhere. No. This was You're such dead. a solid run. This is the run I didn't get at all in my practices, which is good. Hey, that's great. That That's exactly what you want. And with that... Oh, we that's a GG as wow. timing is going to end after we go through the Hall of Fame. But Wanley, uh, you brought your Pokemon. So this is going to yeah. take a little bit longer. It's going to take a little longer, yeah. yeah. But wow. we're going to see Pikachu. So uh, especially when Pikachu uh, goes in the Hall of Fame, uh, anyone in chat, if you could spam a Pikachu or an emote or anything like that, we'd appreciate that. Yeah, we'd appreciate it. Otherwise, the mods will be writing down your name on their naughty list. <laughs> PSR is the rival, after all. <laughs> um, uh, but thank you to everyone tuning in. And uh, I'll shut up here and let Wanley talk a lot. But shout out to Wanley for uh, showing up uh, just an interesting change on a, a really cool uh, run. Uh, Wanley put a lot of time into this run. Uh, hopefully it showed. Uh, and uh, Juanli's an amazing runner who uh, runs a ton of Pokemon games, not just a Gen 1 or anything. Uh, almost any Pokemon game you can think of, I think Juanli is great at. So, uh, thank you <laughs> thank for you showing, Juanli. Yeah, thank you so much, Sudo, for commentating. Pika! Let's go! Yeah. Pika did all the work! All the work, dude! Level Pika 6, what, what, work, why? <laughs> Oh, wait, he carried us thing. on his literal back one more, on a surfboard. One more funny thing before I, I have my pseudo trainer is the best person ever speech. <laughs> here we go. Check this out. Since I, I added Mewtwo and all these Pokemon, we got a different message here. <laughs> flash the name from your aid. All right, and that's time. <laughs> and that's time. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, it is 10 then. Yeah, BZ had over 10. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> GG, what a great time. Yeah, that's so good. Cause you lose like two minutes from ish. 
from the mini game, like a two minute. So it was. It would have been almost a sub two. Yeah. I, I, I mean, save and stuff. So much. Even some extra stuff you just did for fun for people. I, I oh, think yeah, if you cut right. all that out, yeah. You yeah, definitely if you take away all the Pikachu too. animations from Bill and all that, yep. Yeah. Wow. That's insane. That is such a good run. I'm so happy. Congrats. I oh, did great. And, uh, uh, yeah, what's what's up next? Uh, just so we're aware. Yeah, that's oh, we're the, uh, be XD. Watching, uh, XD by Kid Rocker. That's going to be awesome as well. It's like Colosseum, but without the salsa. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great run by a great runner. Uh, honestly, this entire marathon is just jam-packed with uh, great stuff. So uh, please uh, stick around and thank you guys for all tuning in. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Thank you, all the PSR mods and all the people helping out to make this marathon a thing. You guys are the true heroes. And... Uh, yeah, I want to thank everybody else for also for watching and being here and uh, supporting me in this uh, marathon run that I've been wanting to do since last year. Yeah, uh, uh, Juanly, I was randomly going through our things. Final thing for me. You messaged me about doing this run like last in, year. Last year. Uh, because I was like searching something else and that popped up. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. And I'm so glad you got to show it. It was such a fun time. Yeah, I, I wanted to do it last year, but. Because of personal issues, family issues, I wasn't able to. There was something that I really, really wanted to do, and I was so excited to do it this year. And I'm so happy that you guys were uh, accepting me. So thank you so much. 